If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced math concepts. Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn that how you can find the values of the trigonometric functions that is sine, cos, tan, cosecant, cot and secant of the angles that are given that is 420 degree minus 330 degree 13 pi by 3 25 pi by 6. Note that these are the angles that are other than uh, of which uh, we have already discussed the values of which we can easily find through table. And if we remember the, the values from 0 to 90, we can easily find the values of sine 90 or sine 30 or sine or sine 60 or and same is the case for other trigonometric function. But what if you will be asked to find the value of sine 420 degree without using the calculator, then how you can find its value by using the values of the angles from 0 to 90 degree, uh, find what is the value of 420 degree. So we will start with the concept of the co-terminal angles as I have already discussed the concept of co-terminal angle in detail in our previous lecture and of which link link is also given in the description below of this video. You can also refer to that video before watching this video as co-terminal angle is the basic concept that you should have. So as the angle is in degrees, so we know that theta is equals to 360k plus theta. Now you have to remember this thing. What does it mean? So this is the formula for coterminal angles as you have to check if the angle is, if the two angles are coterminal, then after one revolution, that is after 360 degree, the terminal side of both the angles will meet. That is for example, if I write here that if you have the angle, for example, you have a 30 degree angle. Then another angle is 390. If you draw that 390 angle, you have to move like this 360 and then 390. It means that this 30 degree and this 390 degree are coterminal because both of these end at the same angle. Uh, 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 that their terminal end is the same. So same is the concept that you have to use here that theta is equal to 360k plus theta where k could be any integer. It could be positive or it could be negative. It depends. So let's find how you can use this concept in order to find the values of the sine cos of uh, on the given angle. So as in the given condition, in the given question, the angle is 420 degree. If I replace theta with 420 degree, what will I will have? I have to write it like this 360. What should be the value of k? As we have to make both the sides equal to 420. So in order to make the other one side is 420 and in order to make the other side 420, you have to take the value of k as 1 and the value of theta will be how much you should be added in 360 to make it 420. You have to add 60 degree. In 360 to make it 420. Now both sides of the equality are same. Now what does it mean? It means that 420 degree is equals to 60 degree or both of these angles are coterminal. It means if you draw 60 and 420 they will both of these angles will end at the same point. From here we deduce that um, uh, that it is the same if you take sine of 420 or sine of 60 cot of cos of 420 or cos of 60 sin the uh, tan of 420 or tan of 60 you will get the same value so this is how you get the concept and let's find the values of the trigonometric functions as cos of 60 is equals to as we have already discussed in detail the table that what it will be the value of cos 60 that you should now memorize it cos 60 is equals to 1 by 2 sin 60 is equals to under root 10 60 is equals to under root 3 similarly cot 60 will be equals to 1 over under root 3 because secant 60 will be equal to as it will be the inverse of sine so it will be 2 over under root 3 and secant 60 will be equal to secant is the inverse of cos it will be equals 2 so we have found the values of all the trigonometric functions at uh, 420 degree by just using the concept of coterminal angle as if you take the cos of 60 or if you take the cos of 420 you will get the same answer. So this is the one example. Now we move towards the second example. Again in the second example we have the angle in degrees. So we have to use the same formula theta is equals to 360k plus theta. Here theta is minus 330 degree that will be equals to 360 
Now, what should be the value of k in order to make the other side 330? As k is the integer, it could be positive or negative. So, we have to choose the value of the k accordingly. We can make it 330 by subtracting 30 from it. So, in order to make it the same, we have to add 30 here. And as we want to subtract, so we will replace k with minus 1. So, it means minus 330 is equals to 360 into minus 1 plus 30 degree. It means that this angle and this angle is same. So, we can write here as minus 330 is equals to 30 degree. It means if you find cos 30, it will be the same as cos of minus 330. If you find sin 30, it will be the same as sin of minus 30. So, we will find the rest of the uh, all of the trigonometric functions as by using 30 degree rather than minus 330. Sine of 30 is 1 by 2. Cos of 30 is under root 3 by 2. Tan of 30 is 1 over under root 3. Cot of 30 is the opposite of tan. It will be under root 3. Because secant of 30 is opposite of sine. It will be 2. Secant is op opposite of cos. It will be 2 over under root. So this is how we have found the um, values of trigonometric function at minus 330 degree as it is the same as 30 degree. So in the next angle is in radians. So, for radians, the coterminal, uh, the formula of coterminal angle is theta is equals to 2 pi k plus theta. It means here 1 revolution is equals to 2 pi. In the degrees, we have the 1 revolution is equals to 360 degree, but in radians, we have the 1 revolution equals to 2 pi. So, theta is equals to 2 k pi plus theta. So, on one side, the given angle is 13 pi by 3. So, we will replace with 13 pi by 3 as 13 pi by 3 is equals to 2 pi. Now, we have to decide the value of k in such a way that the opposite side will become 13 pi by 3. Now, how it will be? We have to, so in order to find, in order to solve this, you have to use a trick here. What should be the trick? If I write here as, as we have 13 pi by 3 on one side and 2 pi on the other side and we don't know both k and theta. So, for that purpose, what we will do, we will vary the k one by one and we will check. If I write 2k pi here and just leave theta for the time being, I will write here 13 pi by 3 and move 2 pi k on the other side minus 2 pi k equals to theta and solve it as if I replace k with if I replace k with 1 what it will be then I take the LCM so 13 pi minus 6 pi so if I uh, subtract them what we will get is 7 pi by 3 that is not the angle 7 pi by 3 is basically equals to 420 degrees so 420 degrees is the angle that is not from 0 to 90 so we have to take the angle at this place or at this place or at this place that is between 0 and 90 so that we can easily find their values as we uh, without calculator as we uh, it is very difficult to memorize them so we have to take such value of k that it we, we get here any angle in radian between 0 to 90 so if i so i ha have to take the value of k here as 2 so if i take 2 what we will get we will get 4 pi here so, we will prefer to take the value of k as 2. So, 13 pi by 3 minus 4 pi as value of k is 2. That is equal to theta. So, if I solve it, I will get 13 pi minus 12 pi divided by 3. That is equal to theta. And we will get pi by 3. So, theta is equal to pi by 3. So, we have to replace this theta with pi by 3 and this k with 2. So, let's replace them as theta is equals to 2k 2 theta is equals to 2 pi k plus theta. So, we have to replace as we have 13 pi by 3 at one side and the, on the other side we have 2 pi k is will be 2 as I we, we, we have found out uh, found it uh, earlier and the theta will be pi by 3. So, this means that 13 pi by 3 is the same as pi by 3. So what is pi by 3? Pi by 3 is equal to the 60 degree. It is Pi by 3 is in radian and the angle will be 60 degree. So, you have to find that is equal to 60 degree. So, you have to find sine of 60, cos of 60, tan, secant, cosecant and uh, uh, cot of 60 degree. So, you have to find all these. Now, same is the case. Uh, now, uh, uh, just solve it by yourself. By, by, by As we have already seen that cos 60 is 1 by 2, sin 60 is under root 3 by 2. You have to uh, 
look the all these values again now we will move towards 25 pi by 6 now let's again find here that how we can do that so theta is equals to 2k pi plus theta theta is 20 so let's find which angle will be equal to 25 pi by 6 25 pi by 6 is equals 2 pi k plus theta let's move 2 pi k on the other side so 25 pi by 6 minus 2 pi k equals to theta if i take the if i take the value of k as 2 what it will be then let's take the lcm 25 pi minus 24 pi equals to theta so we'll get pi by 6 yes so this is the angle that is equals to pi by 6 is equals to 30 degree so we will get angle theta is equals to 30 degree this means this theta will be 30 degree or pi by 6 and and 25 pi by 6 will be equals to pi by 6 that is if you find sine pi by 6 it will be the same as sine 25 by pi by 6 if you find cos pi by 6 it will be the same as cos 25 pi by 6 so that's all from today's lecture this is hope so it will help you a lot uh, in finding the values of the trigonometric functions uh, for the angles other than um, um, of the uh, trigonometric functions of the angles other than 0 to 90 degree thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.